Hello class, welcome to Automotive Electrical Inspection and Maintenance class. There are numerous brands and types of cars, and the composition of the instrument system varies. Their installation positions, wiring methods, and connection methods differ depending on the brand and model. In this lesson, we will mainly study the knowledge of instrument and alarm systems. The learning objectives are to understand the functions and classifications of instrument and alarm systems, to ensure that drivers can monitor the operation of various vehicle systems at all times, facilitating the timely detection and troubleshooting of issues, and ensuring the reliable and safe operation of the vehicle. Various gauges and warning devices are installed on the dashboard. The automobile instrument panel mainly includes the tachometer, odometer, coolant temperature gauge, fuel gauge, oil pressure gauge, ammeter, and voltmeter. Lights on the dashboard include warning lights and indicator lights. Warning lights are used to alert the driver that there is a system malfunction requiring charging or part replacement for safe driving. Depending on the priority of emergency situations or information, red and yellow indicator lights are used. When indicator lights illuminate, they inform the driver that the device they represent is now in operation. Blue, green, and yellow lights are used to convey different meanings. Based on their operating principle, these lights can be categorized into mechanical instruments, electrical instruments, analog circuit electronic instruments, and digital electronic instruments. Mechanical instruments operate based on mechanical forces. Electrical instruments function on the principle of electrical measurement, using various sensors to convert non-electrical quantities into electrical signals for measurement. Analog circuit electronic instruments operate on a principle similar to electrical instruments, but they use electronic components instead of traditional electrical components, typically utilizing various specialized integrated circuits. Digital instruments involve the ECU collecting signals from sensors, converting analog data into digital form, and controlling the display device after analysis and processing. Traditional instruments typically refer to mechanical instruments, electrical instruments, and analog circuit electronic instruments. As modern vehicles continue to advance towards informatization and electronization, digital electronic instruments offer advantages over traditional instruments, including high integration, precision, information content, reliability, and flexible display modes. This has led to the gradual replacement of traditional instruments. In terms of structural design, there are individual instruments and combination instruments. Individual instruments refer to each instrument having its own separate structure and assembly. Combination instruments involve assembling various instruments together and enclosing them in a single housing. Combination instruments can further be divided into removable and non-removable types. If the components of non-removable combination instruments and indicator lights are damaged, it is necessary to replace the entire instrument assembly, resulting in higher maintenance costs. However, combination instruments are favored for their compact structure, small size, ease of installation, and wiring. They are well suited for meeting the multifunctional requirements of instruments, which is why modern vehicles widely adopt combination instruments. The instrument panel is divided into two main parts based on functionality, which are instrument display and instrument warning. The instrument display section primarily shows the working status and real-time data of various systems. It includes the tachometer, speedometer, gear position indicator, fuel gauge, water temperature gauge, and various indicator lights. The instrument warning section is responsible for monitoring the status of critical vehicle systems. When these key systems encounter issues, 
they would significantly affect the vehicle's performance. Therefore, it is necessary to provide an intuitive feedback to the driver about the abnormal system status to prompt them to take timely action. This section includes warnings related to water temperature, engine oil pressure, and fuel levels. Instrument systems can be categorized by their display methods into visual indicators and auditory alerts. Visual indicators include screen displays, pointer displays, and indicator lights. Auditory alerts include reminders for seat belts being unfastened and doors being left open, etc. The requirements for the instrument panel include first, simple structure, second, reliable operation, third, resistant to vibrations and impact, fourth, accurate display, fifth, minimal response to fluctuations in power supply voltage, sixth, stable performance regardless of ambient temperature changes. Automotive alarm systems are designed to indicate the operational status of various vehicle systems, enhance vehicle reliability, ensure road safety, and prevent accidents. Various indicator and warning devices are installed in automobiles, and light indicators serve as an important supplementary form to gauge style instruments. Their advantage lies in being more intuitive and driver-friendly, typically using yellow or blue colors for recognition. Alarm devices are activated when the monitored system or assembly detects an abnormal condition. These devices promptly illuminate and the corresponding indicator lights emit warning signals. This is usually achieved through flashing warning lights or sounding alarms, such as sirens or buzzers to alert the driver. Warning lights are typically installed on the instrument panel. The power rating of the bulbs used in these lights is typically 1 to 4 watts. There is usually a color filtering lens in front of the bulb that emits red or yellow light. The lens often features standard symbols, such as the check engine light, charging system fault indicator, oil pressure warning light, low fuel warning light, ABS malfunction indicator, SRS fault warning light, seat belts warning light, low brake fluid warning light, etc. This concludes all the content of this lesson. Thank you for watching.